for his exceptional commitment to the fields of material science, Mayo Kaku has, as of late, affirmed that the James Webb Space Telescope has found six gigantic systems that researchers thought could not exist. These examinations have the potential to open up new aspects in our logical comprehension of the universe. The disclosure is both energizing and revolutionary, testing existing speculations about the development and advancement of universes. It is, therefore, worth watching out for these improvements. The affirmation by such a recognized researcher highlights the significance of these discoveries. Mayo Kaku is a remarkable figure in the logical field, a physicist of American and Japanese legacy. He is considered a specialist in both traditional exploratory material science and quantum mechanics. Unlike some more moderate and suspicious researchers, Kaku has been responsive to the astounding aftereffects of the James Webb Space Telescope mission. His eagerness to embrace new disclosures and share them with the public highlights his commitment to propelling our comprehension of the universe. We are pleased that this recognized researcher has chosen to break his silence and openly share what can no longer be denied. The energy and nearly entertained tone of the famous heavenly physicist are apparent in his remarks on the revelation made by the James Webb Space Telescope, communicating that this has been a highlight that has aroused his curiosity. Join us to discover the ramifications of Mayo Kaku's disclosure of these six enormous systems. Kaku is a researcher who has forever been able to think about new hypotheses. Throughout his life, he has illustrated a receptiveness to thoughts that challenge the business as usual, figuring out that Einstein's conditions of relativity and Newton's regulations, while basic, are lacking to catch the full intricacy of the universe. Kaku comprehends that the disclosures of the new telescope have the potential to enhance the logical field, albeit a significant number of his partners have not had the option to take on this view. It is creating concern and insomnia among the Big Bang defenders and adversaries of quantum mechanics. However, this only incites laughter from Kaku. The JWST has uncovered the revelation of six gigantic cosmic systems tracing all the way back to the earliest seasons of the universe. Each of these cosmic systems contains a larger number of stars than our own Milky Way, despite having formed only 200 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. The team of space experts who made the revelation has named these extraordinary systems Universe Breakers, since, if affirmed, they would change our whole understanding of the universe. The ramifications of these discoveries are significant, suggesting that the universe's initial years were far more powerful and complex than previously thought. Something doesn't fit here anymore. The theory of how things came to be tells us that the universe was a train wreck after the introductory event. The first solid objects required a huge number of years to form, and it took a huge number of extra years for the objects to reach adequate density and produce light. The formation of complex structures, such as systems, was accepted to happen much later. Some of the newly found universes surpassed the Milky Way in size, and their huge brightness suggests that they were probably forming many new stars each year, whereas our system forms stars only intermittently. It remains questionable precisely when the first universe formed. Scientists have not been able to determine this up to this point. The only thing that is clear is that initially there may have been only single stars or groups of stars, which ultimately consolidated to form larger and larger structures until dwarf universes fostered. The small cosmic systems experienced different systems and gradually developed according to past hypotheses. Extremely coordinated and gigantic worlds proved unable to have existed at that time, which raises the question of whether the universe is much older than recently accepted or whether complex cosmic structures grew significantly sooner. This situation is hard to accept for conservative science, which still finds issues with this model. Some aspects of physics strongly refuse to accept this revelation and question potential errors in the age estimates. Kaku is aware of this and had this to say, There are numerous models of old and misleading speculations that determinately persist on account of the glory of certain researchers. Many of these hypotheses were only debunked when a pivotal investigation uncovered their flaws. Consequently, the essential word in any science, particularly in physics, rests within the experimentalists who keep the scholars alert and awake. As a matter of fact, on Earth we have barely any insight into the genuine starting points of the universe. This quote from Kaku underscores the significance of constant trial and error, as well as validation in the scientific process. The theory of how things came to be was laid out in 1927, 
based on observations of the expansion of the universe. This data led to the conclusion that the universe began from a singular point and has been expanding from that point onward. At the time, it was hard for people and researchers to imagine a universe with a beginning and an end. The possibility of a universe that had always existed and was boundless in time and space was beyond people's imagination. Indeed, even today, researchers still face difficulties in figuring it out. However, it is essential to consider these possibilities. Even these new findings don't fit with what scientists have based for decades on the theory of the Big Bang. Nevertheless, science has shown time and again that re-examination and receptiveness to novel ideas are a necessary part of the scientific process. Just like the affirmation of certain speculations and observations, when Einstein was a kid, it was accepted that the stars and planets were solidly fixed in the universe and these specific structures occupied a defined space. However, we now know that everything in the universe is moving. Planets orbit, stars move within their galaxies at many kilometers per second, and whole galaxies move quickly through the universe, the fate of which we cannot yet even predict. This unique understanding of the universe challenges long-held convictions and highlights the requirement for continuous inquiry and transformation in scientific thought. Today, Researchers are challenged to accept uncomfortable pieces of insight and to understand that hypotheses are not absolute truths until they are thoroughly tested or confirmed by precise observation. The idea of the Big Bang emerged from the recognition that galaxies are moving away from one another, and this distance is relative to their separation from Earth. This observation, known as Hubble's Law, suggested that the universe was expanding. For a while, Elements such as cosmic background radiation and the redshift of light from distant galaxies, along with other cosmological patterns, seem to support this theory. However, it is essential to remember that before, people who believed the Earth was flat and that the Sun revolved around us also had empirical evidence for their suspicions, until occurrences or technological advancements came along that provided a clearer picture. Right now, we are witnessing a similar situation. Researchers anticipated the new James Webb Space Telescope to confirm the suspicions related to the Big Bang. However, instead, they have come across these six universes that seemed impossible. This indicates that science is continually advancing and that researchers must be open to new revelations and reconsider existing theories based on the available evidence. The unexpected discoveries challenged the current understanding and prompted a reassessment of well-established cosmological theories. Scientists use redshift as a tool to determine certain quantities in the study of the universe. Redshift, also known as the Doppler effect, refers to the change in the color of light as light sources and observers move relative to each other. To understand this, you can imagine standing still and seeing a car coming towards you. As the car moves towards you, you hear the engine getting louder. However, once the car passes you or moves away, the engine sound changes. This is because the sound of the engine varies as the car moves. The same is true for light. When a light source, such as a distant star, moves towards us, the light we see shifts towards bluer tones. Conversely, when the light source moves away from us, the light shifts towards redder tones. This phenomenon is called redshift. Physicists have converted redshift values into speeds and distances for measurement in the study of the universe. However, it is important to note that even a small error in these measurements can have significant impacts. The measurement methods previously used are now under review. The latest findings related to our universe necessitate consideration of whether they are truly based on redshift errors or whether some researchers are simply denying the facts. This is a question that requires thorough investigation and careful review of the data and methods used in the research. The current analysis and reassessment of measurement methods highlight the evolving nature of scientific inquiry. Thank you very much for watching the video. As always, we remind you that you can post your questions in the comments box. If you liked the video, remember to hit the like button, share it so it reaches more people, and subscribe to the feed so you don't miss more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. This call to action encourages viewers to engage with the content, fostering a community of curious minds eager to explore and understand the latest scientific discussions. The investigation of our universe, with its immense spans and complex celestial bodies, continues to fascinate and challenge researchers across the globe. 
From early hypotheses about the universe to the latest discoveries made possible by cutting-edge technology, each revelation reshapes our understanding of the universe and pushes the limits of human knowledge. One of the most significant and enduring questions in cosmology revolves around the origin and evolution of galaxies. Galaxies are like cities of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter bound together by gravity. Understanding how galaxies form and evolve is crucial not only for unraveling the mysteries of our universe, but also for confirming or testing existing theories, such as the theory of the universe's origin. The theory of the Big Bang, proposed nearly 100 years ago, suggests that the universe began from a single, infinitely dense point and has been expanding ever since. This idea emerged from observations of the universe's expansion and the cosmic microwave background radiation, considered the remnants of the early universe's intense heat and light. However, recent discoveries, especially those made by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, have challenged some major assumptions underlying the Big Bang Theory. The JWST, with its extraordinary sensitivity and resolution, has identified galaxies that appear far more massive and advanced than expected for their age. One such discovery involves six massive galaxies dating back to when the universe was only 200 to 700 million years old, a mere blink of an eye in its 13.8 billion year history. These galaxies, named Universe Breakers by the research team, defy conventional understanding since they are already so large and bright at such an early astronomical epoch. The discovery of these galaxies raises intriguing questions about the rapid development of the early universe and challenges existing models of galaxy formation. According to prevailing theories, galaxies formed gradually over billions of years through the merging of smaller structures and the accumulation of gas and stars. The presence of these enormous galaxies so early in cosmic history suggests a more intricate and possibly faster process of galaxy formation than previously thought. Furthermore, the discovery highlights the significant role of technological advancements in reshaping our understanding of the universe. The JWST's ability to peer further into space and capture faint light from distant galaxies has allowed astronomers to uncover previously invisible aspects of the universe's early development. These observations provide valuable insights into the conditions and processes that governed galaxy formation during the universe's infancy. The implications of these findings extend beyond the realm of astronomy. They challenge researchers to revisit and refine existing cosmological models to better account for the observed diversity and complexity of galaxies across cosmic time. They also underscore the dynamic and evolving nature of scientific knowledge where new discoveries can prompt paradigm shifts and open new avenues for exploration. As researchers continue to investigate and interpret the data from the JWST and other observatories, the study of galaxy formation remains a vibrant and evolving field of research. Each new discovery brings us closer to unraveling the mysteries of our cosmic origins and understanding the fundamental processes that have shaped the universe as we know it today. In conclusion, while the discovery of these six massive galaxies challenges our current understanding of galaxy formation and the early universe, it also represents a significant milestone in our quest to unravel the universe's secrets. By pushing the boundaries of scientific knowledge, such revelations pave the way for future breakthroughs and deepen our appreciation of the vast and intricate tapestry of the cosmos.